Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sarah Plays uh, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion Part 3 uh, third, ep third episode I'm recording today because I love this game and I'd forgotten how much I loved it and it's really really easy to record so I just figure I'll record till I have to go to bed why not so let's continue on we've just I just killed the goblin and that was when I saved it that take those I don't know whether I need one of those or not stinkhorn cap I'll have one of those I'll have some of that it only weighs one I'll take it oh, I have found a mortar and pestle equip it to create potions or poisons from ingredients with like effects your alchemy skill will make your creations more powerful I know how to use my alchemy and the mortar and pestle more or better rather than I did when I played this last thanks to um, learning about um, alchemy in Skyrim uh, obviously you don't need the alchemy table thing you just need the mortar and pestle but uh, I can work it work it out I think I'll be able to work it out better than I did last time I, I don't think I used it once last time I just collected potions everywhere I went and barely ever used them okay nothing else waiting to eat us I nope, don't want any rat meat. What's Mr. Goblin got on him? Just lock it. So that's nothing particularly exciting. Now let's see if I can do this without breaking a lockpick. Yep. Nope. There we go. Full gold and three lockpicks, and I don't want any more torches. Just weigh me down. There's nothing else to see. Nope. Oh, uh, I was going to last time. I thought maybe I might turn the brightness up. If I can work it how? Yes, here we go. What does that look like? That might be too bright. No. It's very bright in the menu, but it's not too bright in the game. Because I, I, I understand that uh, when YouTube uploads videos, the processing process makes them da appear darker to the people watching them. So it doesn't look too bright to me, so hopefully it's bright enough for you guys to watch. Oh, there's a thing. That's a goblin. It's a good thing you moved, otherwise I would have thought you were a rock. Is there another one hiding there? Oh, watch out for the trap. How do I... Oh, okay, there's a... Uh, how do I change to my other weapon? Uh, tab. That. Tab again. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> how do I jump? There we go, that's how I jump. Alright, well, I'll change back to the other one and not cut. Oh, stupid, that's not the button I want to push. Not cut the rope or just... Can I jump over it? Let's, let's save just in case I get whacked by those thingies with spikes on them. Yes. Where are the spikes? We don't want to jump on the spikes, so we'll go over there. This is going to be tricky. Oh nope, I didn't I didn't whoa! Ow. Thank you. That's why I saved it. My health isn't low. It's a bit half. Um tab. Potions. What potions have we got in my pocket? Weak potion of healing, potion of respite, potion of go with a mm, tab. That's better. It'll do. Now just don't touch the spike. And how did I get to this thing? How do I go back into my body? What button did I push? 
Nope, that's not the button I pushed. Uh, oh, I could have done that to heal myself, my stupid one. I told you I never think to use... Oh, damn it! Bloody hell. How do I pick that up? There we go, thank you. Ooh, this is so annoying. No, that's not what I want to do. <sighs> Maybe I can check the controls. Controls. Oh, okay. Change view. Ah, okay. Thank you. That's better. Okay. We'll go up this way. There's nobody else hiding in the background, is there? Bear pelt. It's worth 30 gold. I might have that one. Oh, dear. What's that? It's a rusty dagger. I don't need a rusty dagger. Is there anything special up there? I don't remember walking this slowly last time I played this. I don't want any bones. Maybe I just didn't care that I was walking slowly because I felt safer creeping constantly. What's down here? Dead rat. Damn it! Thank you. I remember those logs. I remember you have to roll them down the hill at the bad guys. I think I remember that anyway. Yeah, there's going to be a pop-up, I think, in a second. <gasps> that gave me a fright! I thought there was going to be a pop-up. That gave me a hell of a fright. Right mum would stack a pile of logs at the top of a hill like that. That's just stupid. Ooh, lock picks, always useful. And he's got a rusty iron bow. That's the same as what I've got. I think. I think I've got an iron bow, not a steel bow or something. Yep, iron bow. Arrow. Not thick. I don't think I need a short sword. I've got Captain Renault's katana. Was I there in two of them? I've got them more than that. All of those. All of those. That. Nothing hiding around the other side. Nope.
Now, what do I see? Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. Oh no, no, that's the wrong button. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! Oh, that was close. Can I? Can I put the weapon away? Nope. <laughs> I thought I might be able to, but I don't think I can. Oh, there's a goblin over there. Let's see if I can shoot that far. Don't move. No, I can't shoot that far. Damn it. I'll have that. And I'll have that. No. Uh, it's there. It's there somewhere. Come on. I saw it. Oh, damn it. I hate it when I do that. I'm gonna push the space bar, not the. That's it. Yeah. Control is. Oh. Yes, I know. So I have noticed that the crosshair changes to an eye while you are sneaking. If the eye is dim, no one can detect you. If the eye is bright, someone can detect you. Okay. So it's dim. So we're just gonna sneak a little bit closer. And shoot this goblin. Yay, we got him this time. Is there any more goblins hanging around? I don't see any. Oh, we don't have to hold it down. I thought we had to hold it down. But I'll stand up for the moment. I think I remember there being some kind of witch or something over there. Ah, and there's rats in the down here. Oh no, that's not a rat. That's a goblin. Oh crap! Come, stay still, stay still. I'm not a. Gotcha. Ooh, my marksman skill has increased. Excellent. That's what I want. Did I get him? Oh no, I remember now. He's already dead. I remember losing like two or three arrows on that guy last time. I don't want the axe. I don't want rat meat. Yes, there's a goblinish type thing, witch thingy over there. I see it. I knew I remembered that correctly. Nope. Let's see if we can get. We might go into sneak and see if we can get any closer. Don't make a sound. Don't fall down the hole either. Oh, come on. I should have hit that. Do a little sidestepping here so we don't take our eyes off it. Nothing in there that's going to yell at me, is there? Oh, something sees me. We'll just shoot it. Yay, got it this time. Now, what's looking at me? Is there another goblin? Something's looking at me! I hate that. Is there another goblin thing hanging over there? Where? I don't see anything moving. Is there a rat down there that I missed? Well, if you, if you can see me, why don't you come out and attack so I can kill you? Well, oh, you can't see me anymore. What was it?
Damn it. Ooh, what does, I never worked out what to do with all this stuff. Hmm. I suppose I could sell it. You have found a repair hammer. Equip it to repair your weapons and armor using your armor skill. Damaged weapons and armor are less effective, so it is wise to keep them in good repair. We'll see how badly, how bad my bow is. Is that only at 80? So, equip the armor. Thingy. No, not that. That. That'll do. Tab. Is that the thing that could see me? I think I, sh I thought it was the one I shot at. Oh, there's the one that can see me. Stay still. Thank you. Right, gold. I don't want a mace thing. What else we got here? Don't want a tunic. Don't want bones. Nothing useful. Take that and that and that. I think that's everything. Where are we going now? I remember last time I snuck my way through the whole place here. I'm not quite as scared as I was, but I did get my sneak up, but up really fast. Now I get down. I think that was all of them. Let me take a look around. I thought I was never going to catch up with these guys. Yes, of course I followed you. How do I get down there? Not yet. Let me rest a moment longer. Nope, my sneak is sneak skill has increased. How do I get down there? Oh, Un sneak. Maybe I just jump. Rest a moment longer. Damn it, it's that prisoner again. Kill her. She might be working with the assassins. No. No, she is not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. They cannot understand why I trust <coughs> you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. The nine guide and protect us. I'm not on good terms with the gods. I don't know. I don't think about it. Uh, I'm going to go with the nine guide and I've protect us. I've served the nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. 
The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Okay, lots of options here. So we can go with the apprentice. The apprentice ability confers a 100 bonus point, a 100 point bonus to your magic attribute, but gives you a hundred percent weakness to magic. No, I don't think so. I'm not much of a magic user. The lady's, bless lady's blessing confers bonuses of 10 points to your willpower and endurance attributes. The mage ability confers a permanent bonus of 50 points to your magicka. The thief ability grants a 10 point bonus to your agility, speed and luck attributes. The atronach, with the atronach ability you don't regain magicka over time. Instead you ha have a 50% spell absorption to recharge your magicka. Your base magic is also increased by 150 points. The Lord. Being born under the Lord gives you the blood of the North lesser power to regenerate up to 90 points of health. However, you also gain the Trollkin curse, a permanent 25% weakness to fire. Use the Lover's Kiss power once a day to paralyze an opponent for 10 seconds at the cost of 120 points of fatigue. Those born under the ritual use the Mara's Gift power once a day as a powerful restore health spell. The Blessed Word can turn the undead. Gain the Serpent spell to cause a slow but potent poison on touch while simultaneously curing yourself and dispelling magic on yourself. Casting this spell costs 100 points of fatigue. Use the Moon Shadow power once a day to become invisible for 60 seconds. Uh, no, where's that there? Uh, the Steed ability grants a bonus of 20 to your speed attribute. With the Tower Key power, once a day open a door or container of average lock level or less. The Tower Warden reflects 5 points of damage for 120 seconds once a day. Or the Warrior. The Warrior ability grants a bonus of 10 points to your strength and endurance attributes. I think that the Thief works best for my gameplay. It worked for me last time, and I don't see any reason to do it differently. Yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the thief shall guide your steps on the road to destiny. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. I already have a torch. Who are the blades? We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. What do you know about Uriel Septim? My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Stick close and let us do our job. You'll be all right. Thank you. I don't want any of that. Protect the Emperor! 
Their birds are danger. I'm in danger. Nope. Hang on, they might have stuff that's interesting. They don't, but they could have. Wait for me. For the the and the I will. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? We're the truck. Let's go. I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us! Wait here! Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Pull Pull the Emperor! Emperor! I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Useful. Sorry, mate. I totally didn't they shoot failed. him. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. Nope. The amulet. It's Where's the list. amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. The Emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The Amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced agent. Yeah. Am I right? Very much right. Quest completed. You now must choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You will increase your level by raising these major skills. Okay. Uh, it's a lot more reading, so I think I will end the 
uh, this video here, this episode, and when we come back, I will choose my class and continue on with the um, next chapter.